So we're talking the Arizona Cardinals in this one. They've got a team total, a uh, regular season win total of eight and a half. Now, I know you saw this one out at a nine. So this is another number, depending on if you like it over or under, you might want to shop it around to see if you find one that suits you. What's up, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. That way you never miss our new show, the NFL Power Hour, every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Ross, what are you thinking about this eight and a half for Arizona? Yeah, I've seen it as high as nine and a half, but uh, MGM is our sponsor, and we're going to use that line of eight and a half as the regular season win total. Um, here's the thing, Ellie. You know, this was a playoff team a season ago, yeah. and uh, the regular season win total is eight and a half. So, I mean, basically, uh, they're predict it, to me, that speaks volumes to me. You very rarely see a team – um, that has a regular season win total this low, even though it's 17 games still, uh, and they were a playoff team a season ago, especially a team that really hasn't had a huge turnover in personnel. And, right. and when I look at NFL regular season win totals, I trust the bookmaker. I'm not going to bore everybody with the personnel of the Arizona Cardinals on both sides of the ball, special teams, et cetera. I just look at the raw numbers, and that's what I want to beat is the number. Uh, Arizona last year, they finished 11-6, and six, but they started 7-0. and oh. And yeah. I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but – Arizona is the first team in NFL history to start seven and zero and end up with six or more losses. So, and this is a very disturbing trend under Cliff Kingsbury. Uh, Kingsbury will be entering his fourth season as the Arizona Cardinals head coach. Uh, his first three. Uh, that disturbing trend I'm referring to is fast starts and terrible finishes. Uh, now, in 2019, which was his first year, yes, they started 3-3. Three and three. Not a real fast start, but they finished a year by losing seven of their last nine games. Um, 2020, uh, they started out 6-0 and oh, and then lost five of their last seven to finish at 8-8. Eight and eight. And then last season, um, like I just alluded to, uh, they start seven and zero. They finish eleven and six. They lose five of their last six games, including uh, the playoff game against the Rams, in which they, uh, without going into further detail, just didn't show up. They were blown out thirty-four to eleven. Now, in terms of a fast start this year, uh, you'd be hard pressed to predict that uh, Arizona is going to get off to a seven and zero start this year, especially when you look at their first three games. Uh, their opener. They will host the Kansas City Chiefs, and then they'll go to the Las Vegas Raiders uh, in a road game in week two. And then week three, they host the uh, defending world champion Los Angeles Rams, who just blew them out of the water last year in the playoffs, as I just touched upon. Mm -hmm. uh, they also lose a home game this year. They were scheduled to play nine home games and eight on the road, but the uh, – the NFL decided they're going to play. Uh, they're going to substitute their home game against San Francisco and move it to a neutral site in Mexico City, Mexico. So uh, that's an opportunity against a um, quality team like San Francisco that it might go by the wayside because of that change of venue. There's two ways I look uh, at strength of schedules. And not to go, I'm not going to run through everybody they're playing. And, and, and again, let's keep it simple. Uh, right. The first way I look at this is whoever they're playing this year, I add up their regular season win totals. For example, if you look at Arizona's schedule, you go to MGM and you see who they're going to play this year and what their regular season win totals are, and you add those all up. The higher the number, the stronger the schedule and uh, Arizona, with that formula in mind, is playing the seventh toughest schedule in the NFL. Secondly, uh, the way to look at things is to look at uh, their schedule this year and their opponents and calculate the win percentage of those opponents from last year. And if you did that, uh, the Arizona Cardinals played a second toughest schedule in the NFL. So. Wow. Uh, when you start assessing all that, and then you look at the fact that five of their eight 
home opponents were playoff teams from a season ago. I'm going to go with the Arizona Cardinals here under the regular season win total of eight and a half, Ellie. And I would encourage uh, not to, to slight our sponsor, but I would encourage the viewers to look elsewhere as well and shop those lines. Yep, that's just it. Some books have great lines one way. Some books have great lines the other way. You got to shop around on all of your lines. It's very, very important when it comes to making money. Let me ask you this about Kyler Murray. I know there was a lot of disdain in the locker room with him last season. And, you know, he's got this big record setting contract. And now he's big on this four hours of study hall of independent study. Um, do you think part of the reason that this win total is low is because there could be some locker room issues that maybe the betting public isn't necessarily zoning in on right now? I'm sure that's a small part of it, Ellie. Yeah. I, I don't know if we could say, well, that's the major reason why right. uh, I'm not going to go there. Um, I will say that uh, Kyler Murray, to me, is a guy who's really reached the ceiling. I mean, he's yeah. not a Joe Burrow. He's not a Josh Allen, two guys that have been performed as a top five quarterback last year. And you could see both of those quarterbacks ascending even more this year and in the future. I don't know if I could say that about Kyler Murray. So, um, again, and then Cliff Kingsbury, I think folks are pretty starting to catch on to the fact that um, this guy, you know, he's got a lot of bells and whistles offensively, but when it comes down to it, his teams fade down the stretch, as I touched upon. So Not a I, I think if you combine all those factors, uh, I, hopefully, I know I didn't answer your question exactly, but um, that's my well, thought process. It's worth throwing it in there because it has been a bit of a headline. Sure. Um, but I mean, you you answered it in the way that I think is correct, which is that does it have something to do with it? Probably a little, but not a whole, whole lot. We're not basing the whole regular season win total just based on on what Kyler Murray's doing, basically. Um, so, Ross, what do you have lined up over at picksandparlays.net for our viewers? What are you doing packages and subscriptions also, right? Yes. I mean, if you go to my page at picksandparlays.net, um, you'll see my NFL package, annual package is $549. Also, we have a uh, special right now, early bird special in college football. Uh, you can get 25% off right now up until August 1st, I believe. Um, I may be incorrect on that date, but I know you have some time to get in on that early bird special. Major League Baseball has been a real struggle for me over the last few weeks. It happens. Uh, I'm looking to finish really strong in the uh, last couple of months of the Major League Baseball season. Uh, my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays, which are the equivalent of my best bets, uh, still 53 and 36 since the start of last year, which is good for 60%. So a lot of great things uh, and exciting things coming up at picksandparleys.net. And I'm elated to be part of this team. Uh, a lot of quality handicappers at the site. And it pushes each one of us to be better on a daily basis, Ellie. Yes, and it's a lot of fun. You guys are really com friendly competitive, but y'all are competitive with each other. Oh, yeah. You like to be on the top for sure, and that's an important thing to have. That means you guys care about the picks that you are giving out. True professionals. Some guys, they'll just give you 10 picks a day, and you cross your fingers and hope for the best. Uh, we like to stay lower numbers of picks given out. And, Ross, I know you're big on lower juice also. Yeah. You're always under yeah. that minus 130, which is really important, too, the value of buying picks from a handicapper. Anybody can tell me to take a minus 200. I don't need to buy that off of anybody, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, you and, and the, some of these guys hit 60% or better and, and they're losing money on the air for exactly the reason that Ellie just brought up. Yep, sometimes it happens. Well, people, check out Ross Benjamin at picksandparlays.net. Use that promo code CFL to save you 20% off whatever you purchase from him. And until then, we're going to go under the eight and a half. If you can find it at a nine and a half, take it under that nine and a half too for the Arizona Cardinals regular season win totals. Thanks so much, Ross. Oh, thank you for having me, Ellie.